Hey folks, we're amped to be back, and while we may have been away, lots of exciting developments continued on. In case you haven't heard, our teams will be heading out to Los Angeles in a few short weeks for SIGGRAPH 2019 to celebrate the latest innovations in computer graphics. Find out what's in store for UE from CTO Kim Library and hear from the likes of ILM XLab, Walt Disney Imagineering, Digital Domain, and more at this year's user group. You must register to attend. There will also be many presentations from Epic Devs at our booth and longer tech talks at the show. The latest round of free Marketplace packs became available on the 1st of July. Make sure to grab this month's selections, a custom movement pack, an explosions builder, a fantasy and medieval architecture kit, a first person story adventure template, and a liquid simulation blueprint. A dynamic grass system and a modular building set have been added to our permanent collection as well. ILM XLab's been busy creating new thrilling VR experiences, including Vader Immortal, a home VR experience, and their latest void experience, Ralph Breaks VR. Whether coming face to face with Vader himself or exploring the vastness of the internet, ILM XLab continues to bring these magnificent worlds to life using the power of Unreal Engine. Find out more about both of these impressive projects and how ILM XLab achieves such high fidelity within the bounds of VR. In addition to games, the VR space is a great way to experience history. If you've ever wondered what being on the unsinkable RMS Titanic was like, you'll soon have your chance in Titanic Honor and Glory. In an effort to recreate the Titanic's interior and exterior as accurately as possible, the team has tapped historians, writers, artists, and collectors to amass a comprehensive collection of plans, photos, interviews, and other documentation related to the Titanic's design. Developed by Vintage Digital Revival, you can play a demo of the part virtual museum, part whodunit, today. From the mind of Justin Roiland, one of the co-creators of Rick and Morty, Trover Saves the Universe is a VR game that was designed to fully utilize the medium's strengths. To see how the studio created Trover Saves the Universe, we interviewed lead designer Eric Meyer. The Squanch Games developer talks about how they came up with a story and gameplay premise, reveals how much of the dialogue was ad-libbed, and elaborates on how creating humor for a video game is different than writing for a TV show. In mid-June, we announced our cinematic summer event, where we encourage you to take the director's seat and create your own short film. The contest will run through July 25th, so there's still time to work on your creation, and don't think you're limited to game cinematics. We'd love to see your archviz scenes, sprawling landscape designs, or towering skyscrapers. Whatever industry you're in, we want you to use your talents and wow us with your summer tale. Hypercharge Unboxed, recently relaunched into Early Access 2.0 and now features a wealth of improvements, such as a progression system, new weapons, new enemies, and more. Much of the game's charm comes from the fact that it leans on toy-driven nostalgia to create a wonderful sandbox experience. Setting up defenses to shoot waves of enemy toy soldiers within relatable childhood environments that include bedrooms and toy stores makes the game feel like a mixture of Toy Story meets Left 4 Dead. <laughs> In an interview with Digital Cyber Cherries, the devs talk about their inspirations while developing the game, elaborate on what toys they sought to incorporate, and delve in how they incorporated both four-player split-screen and online co-op while keeping performance in check. We also caught up with Ektra Games as they transitioned to UE4 to build their most ambitious game yet with Torchlight Frontiers. They explain how they're building the game's vibrant animated world, which strays from the more drab and dreary aesthetics other games in the genre tend to lean on, while detailing the innovative measures the company is using to develop the highly anticipated action RPG. For the Game of Thrones fans out there, you may be interested to know that one of your favorite shows includes Unreal in their production pipeline. Befores and Afters spoke with the production team behind the visualization and execution of the finale, finale's throne room sequence and offers a great write-up on how the scene was built. And on to our weekly Karma Earners, we'd like to give shout-outs to Shadow River, Mo Water, T. Sumisaki, Every Nun, Zombie 2, Pavi Pavi, Presmac 2222, Indie Game Cove, DPTD, and Barry Adol. These lovelies have helped out devs on Answer Hub. Want the chance to see your name up here too? Well, head over and answer questions. First up for this week's Community Spotlight is Scraper First Strike, a VR shooter game with RPG and exploration elements. 
Created and imagined by Jim Ivan, Scraper First Strike uses UE4 to deliver gamers into the year 2076, where they must battle renegade robots in high-rise skyscraper complexes. Next up is Boundary, the multiplayer tactical space-based shooter that puts players in the role of heavily armed astronauts in space engaging in fierce zero-gravity firefights. Fully customizable loadouts, weapons, and ammo types across six classes of astronaut are available for players to choose from in multiple game modes. And last but not least, in Lemons Must Die, John Lemon falls into a strange world full of monster lemons while chasing after the ghost of his beloved Liz Lemon. The pressure is on as you leak juice, your life force draining out, run and jump through levels, exploding enemies on the way, using their juice as your life force. Thanks for joining us for this week's News and Community Spotlight. Have a great week.